Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony. Thank you for stopping by my channel. If you're here for the first time, be sure to go down below, over there, or over there, and please subscribe. As simple as a little click. Today, we are going to take you around the great state of South Carolina and show you some pretty interesting places, some graves, some monuments, and a few other things. And we will get into that, but right after this station identification. I am downtown Columbia and I am on the University of South Carolina campus, or at least part of it. But we wanted to walk around and look at this building right in front of me here. This is called Long Street Theater. It was built by the College of South Carolina in 1855. During the Civil War, it served as a hospital. And this has been dubbed as a hot spot of paranormal activity. So much, it's even landed itself on a TV program talking about paranormal activity. And here is a monument of Senator Strong Thurmond, who was a senator like forever. Strong Thurmond was born in Edgefield, South Carolina in 1902. And he's the only person ever to be elected to the Senate by a right in vote. In 1954, he is, he was the oldest person ever to serve in the United States Senate. Here is a beautiful monument to the South Carolina Palmetto Regiment who gave their all in the war with Mexico. This monument is dedicated to the South Carolina Palmetto Regiment during the war with Mexico. At the South Carolina State Capitol, there is one person buried on the Capitol grounds. His name was William Lunsford. Now the original stone has been covered over by a more modern stone. It's not even legible. But what it said was Captain, Captain Swanson Lunsford, a native of Virginia for many years, resident of Columbia, died August the 7th, 1799, aged 40 years. He was a member of Lee's Legion in the eventful period of 76. This humble tribute to his memory has been placed by his only child, Mrs. M. Land, her husband, Dr. John Douglas of Chester, South Carolina. This memorial was erected by Mary Craig Rorick Baker, great, great granddaughter in 1953. Big question is, what did he do to have the honor bestowed upon him to be buried right on the Capitol grounds? He must have knew someone. Now this is the South Carolina State House, but it is not the original State House, or not in its entirety, because right here, here stood the State House built 1786 to 1790, burned by Sherman's troops 
February the 17th, 1865. Now, while he did that, they were in the process of building the new capital on the South Carolina State House grounds, there is the African American History Monument, and it is very elaborate. It was dedicated in 2001 by sculptor Ed DeWhite. This is a depiction of a slave ship. As you can see, all the humans laying in the bottom of it. There's a huge stone that's got the African continent as well as South America and America. And it appears that these stones come from the Congo, Guyana, Sierra Leone, and Singal. And where they were shipped across the shipping routes. But this bronze monument's pretty elaborate. It shows the plight of the slaves being sold into slavery, as well as being on the ships coming to America and fighting in the Civil War, which they did fight on both sides. It's not shown here. And emancipation. And it continues on the other side For the 15th Amendment, the 40 acres of a mule, the 14th Amendment. And then it talks about during the segregation period, the Jim Crow laws and black codes and all this stuff, sharecropping, which lots of white folks did as well. And I'm a testament to that because that's what my grandfather did before he joined the Confederate Army and never came home. He was a sharecropper. And look, here's a fellow from my town, Deasy Gillespie, and there is a big statue of him in our town. And from Lake City, South Carolina, astronaut Ron McMayer, who died in a fiery shuttle crash. We are here at a kid's playground, but this playground was built right on the, the top of pain and misery. At one time in 1930, this place was the site of the South Carolina State Tuberculosis Hospital. This is where people would come to be treated for, tuber for tuberculosis. And all that's left of it now is the door to the basement. This was actually the foundation of the original hospital. This was known as Hopewell Hospital. In 1930, it was erected by Potter Shackelford Construction. And on this site is where it was built. It was here to help care and treat citizens in the upstate from tuberculosis. It cost $175,000 to build, and it had beds for 24 men, 21 women, and 21 children. It cost an average of $2.50 a day. In 1970, it was closed and was a correctional facility for the upstate. In 2002, a fire destroyed the building that was right there. And then in 2007, a playground was built on the top of it. I have read in several places that it is said that these grounds are haunted. And that if you come out here at night, that you can hear children's cries and screams of people in agony. At 
at the height in the 1950s of tuberculosis breakout. There wasn't enough medicine to go around to treat the patients. And many of them were just left here to die. Well, I think that was pretty creepy. But it's time to get back on the road and let's go to our next destination. All right, this tiny train is here in Mount Crogan, South Carolina, and it is to depict a locomotive that once ran on the Chesterfield and Lancaster Railroad. The railroad actually ran through there many, many years ago, and now there is no sight of it whatsoever anywhere. The neat thing about this train is it was built by Hugh Neisler. If you remember a video that I did here a few months back of the hog bear grist mill that Mr. Hugh operates, he built this train all by himself. And it is pretty neat. But he built it just to put here in the downtown square of Mount Crogan. Mount Crogan is a very small town. It doesn't even get a traffic light. It gets a caution light. So this is a South Carolina caution light town. That is going to end our journey today here in Mount Crogan, South Carolina, next to this tiny train. I hope you've enjoyed this trip. If you did, be sure to tell your family and friends. If you hadn't subscribed yet, be sure to go down below and do so if you will. But for now, y'all have a good day.